Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you why I love the Cuisinart Coffee Plus hot water system. This is a very nice coffee maker and hot water dispenser from Cuisinart. So on the left side, you've got a standard 12 cup pot of coffee you can brew. And on the right side, it's got this whole separate hot water dispenser system. So up at the top here, when we open it up, here's where you're going to put the hot water or the water for the hot water sign. So inside here, there is a, a holding tank that holds up to 54 ounces of water. So we put the water in, don't fill it above the max. So again, this hot water side is completely separate from the coffee maker side. Over on the left here, this is where we do the coffee. We pour our water back here for the coffee side. It's got its own filter basket and it does come with a nice reusable filter, but you can use a number four cone filter. On the hot water side, it's got a nice on off switch. You turn it on. When this light flashes, that means it's heating the water up. My water is already heated. When your water gets low, your add water light will come on. It does have a lock, slide that over, and that way you can't dispense any hot water. But when it's unlocked, you can dispense hot water. So again, when you turn it on and the, the, bl the blue light's flashing, that means your water's heating up. It'll turn steady when it's ready to dispense hot water. Again, here's what it looks like close up. There's where the water's gonna come out. And it does take about a minute and a half to heat the water up. Okay, so the light is on steady. Be careful, this water is really hot. So let's see how hot it is. Two hundred and four degrees. Two hundred and four degrees, that is really hot water. And it'll spin, dispense up to 13 ounces of really hot water. And then it, you have to let it kind of recover a little bit. And then that will go steady. Okay, so on the left-hand side, these are the controls for the coffee maker. It's got this switch here for brew. When you want to do just a normal brew, when you want to set the clock, you can program this to come on automatically in the morning. You, you'll set the time when it's in this position. Auto on means that's the position you want when you want this coffee maker to come on in the morning. Auto off, we can adjust the auto off from zero to four hours. That's how long the warming plate stays on. This machine will turn off automatically depending on where you set that at. And normally you leave it in the brew position. And when you press this button right here, that's to start the brew. You can do a one to four cup brew. The coffee maker still brews whatever amount of water you put back there. But if you're gonna do a small batch, press that button and it does help with the taste of it. We can set the time, it's got a nice clock here. It does have a clean light that tells you when it's time to descale, and it has a clean function. We can press that button when we wanna run vinegar through it. We can also control the carafe temperature. We got low, medium, and high. Comes with Cuisinart Standard. This is their 12 cup carafe, glass carafe. Again, there's the warming plate down there. And it's got the top that, it snaps off real easy, and this is how you fill it up or wash it. And then when you want to put it on, it just snaps on there really quick. Back over here, here's the brew head. It does come with a carbon water filter that goes on this side. And there's also a carbon water filter that fits on there that's smaller. I've just misplaced mine. Again, here's the brew basket. It's got that plunger on the bottom. And then you can use a reusable filter or you can use a number four cone paper filter. If you're going to use a number four paper filter cone shape, you just put it in there like that and you're gonna put your coffee right here. Or if you wanna use the reusable filter, you just never use both of these at the same time. It's either or. There's a window on the side here that lets you know how much water you've put on the, the coffee maker side. Again, whatever amount you put in is how much it's gonna brew. Each time you press this brew button, even if you press that one to four button, if you put 12 cups of water in here, it's gonna brew all 12 cups of water. If you only wanna brew a six cup pot of coffee, just fill it up to the six mark. Okay, so it takes one tablespoon of coffee for every cup you're gonna brew. I'm only gonna brew six cups of coffee on the craft side, so I'm gonna put six tablespoons of coffee in. If I was gonna do the full 12 cup pot, I would put 12 tablespoons in. And right there's where the coffee goes. Okay, I've got the, the six tablespoons in. Now it's time to pour the water in. It's nice just to fill your craft up. However much ever you're gonna brew, fill that up. And then you gotta pour it in the back here. The craft pour is really nice. Make sure you put it back. Put the lid down because the hot water is going to come out here. Again, I've got it filled up to the six mark. 
And you're simply going to come up here and hit the brew now button. That turns blue and it starts brewing. So I started a stopwatch. We're going to time it how long it takes to brew six cups of coffee. So it starts brewing right away. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom of the brew basket's about 178. Don't lift this up. I'm just doing this for demonstration. There's the hot water that's brewing in the coffee. So it smells really good when it's brewing. So it's over four minutes, right at four minutes, 30 seconds, and we're at the four cup mark. So it brews about a cup a minute. It's a quiet coffee maker, but towards the end, it does kind of snap and pop a little bit, and you get some steam coming out the top. Okay, so it's been six minutes, and it's just finishing up. Okay, so the coffee maker does beep at you when it's done. Let's get the craft out. There's our coffee. Let's see how the craft pours. Yeah, it pours really nice. Let's see how hot our cup of coffee is. About 170, that's a really hot cup of coffee. Okay, so let's open it up, see how the coffee grounds did. There's the coffee grounds. Again, whatever amount of water you put back here, every time you press the brew button, that's how much it brews. Very easy to clean up. You can go throw this away in the trash can. It's not gonna drip on you. And this is dishwasher safe. And everything is BPA free. Dimensions front to back is about eight and a half. Height wise, this is right at 20 inches. You do need to be able to get the lid all the way open. Left to right, you're right around 10 and a half inches. I'm very happy with this coffee maker. It, it, it makes a really hot tea or whatever you want to use the hot water for, for ramen noodles. But that water coming out on the hot water side is very hot. The coffee side is very hot. It makes a nice tasting cup of coffee. It's got some nice features for auto brew, craft temperature, auto off. That's how long it keeps the warming plate on. So again, just a nice looking coffee maker with some nice functions. Thanks everybody for watching.